And among those people on the Queen's Birthday Honours list is Laura O'Reilly, who is the CEO of the disability service provider Fighting Chance. Laura has been awarded the Medal of the Order of Australia and she joins us now. Congratulations, Laura. So when did you hear that you've been given this award? Oh, I was uh, fortunate to get an email a little while ago and had to keep it all the news confidential for a few weeks, which was which was very challenging. But yeah, it's a great honour. I'm very excited. What did your family think? Yeah, they're very, very proud. Very proud. Um, yeah, and, and a little bit shocked, I think, as well, as we all were. But yes, proud, I think, is the right word. So tell us uh, more about Fighting Chance then. Why did you set the organisation up? So Fighting Chance is a not-for-profit organisation which believes in an inclusive society for all, including people with disability. I had the great honour of growing up as the sibling of a person with cerebral palsy, my youngest brother Shane, um, and had the experience, I think, of seeing as his sibling the enormous potential that Shane had um, as a human being, but then on the other hand, unfortunately, seeing that society didn't necessarily always recognise that and didn't afford him all the opportunities that he deserved. So his experience, and particularly leaving school, um, was very much the catalyst for for us to start this work with Fighting Chance and uh, we started it yeah 10 years ago this year. And has your organisation grown since it began a decade ago? Yeah, we started with very, very humble origins, um, just a, a couple of people with, I guess, a vision for a world that could be more inclusive. Um, and we have yeah, grown significantly in that decade. Today, we support over a thousand people with disability um, across 13 sites in three states, and we're continuing to expand. We're, we're opening currently in Newcastle and Melbourne. Yep. Where do you see it moving forward in the future? Yeah, for me, um, I, I remember very vividly the experience of my brother leaving school and how devastating we all felt at the lack of opportunity that, that was available for him at that time. So for me, my personal mission is that no Australian experience that and um, we hope to continue our work until we reach as many people across Australia as we can. How's your brother going now? Uh, so unfortunately, my brother died in 2011, so um, he never had the opportunity to, to see the work that his life inspired. But um, for me, that makes these sorts of experiences all the more, um, all the, all, it makes me all the more proud because I know that he would be, he's, he's smiling down. Yeah, you carry on his legacy. And what difference is it making, is your organisation making to young people with disabilities? How's it changing their lives? Yeah, so the, what we do is we identify problems that face uh, people with disability, gaps, challenges, opportunities that don't exist. We identify those, those issues and then we try to create social businesses that trade in order to resolve those issues. So to date, we have created two social businesses in the area of employment, creating jobs and opportunities for everybody to be included in work. Um, and we're also working currently on a social enterprise around accommodation, ensuring that people with disability are at the centre of choice and control in their own lives with where they live. Mm. Um, um, and also a social enterprise around life planning. So those are the, the, the four sort of key or three key areas that we're working on currently. But um, who knows where we'll go in the future. Sure. And what will this uh, award mean to your organisation and to you personally? Mm. Yeah, it can be very um, isolating and hard work doing, you know, working in the social space, trying to move the dial, um, particularly in the context of, of being a not-for-profit. So um, it really, I think, for me personally, is an opportunity today to, to stop and reflect on, on, on how far we've come. And um, I guess, you know, to balance out the, the harder days, days like these are, are very gratifying. But for the whole team, I think this is, a, this is an award for my, my whole community, for all of the participants and staff at Fighting Chance who, who work so hard every day uh, to, to to bring our dream, our vision to life. So for me, it's for, for all of us. Well, congratulations once again, Laura O'Reilly. Thank you. Thank you.